Hey guys, this is uh, T.S. Rudy 3 and yes, that is my new username, um, or Noah Rudy, as you might know from the first video. So this is going to be a second video. I'm going to be telling you guys about more about the channel, um, but this is going to be one of the main things we're going to be doing on this channel is photography, um, just like the T.S.R. Rudy stands for, it's tech sports and Rudy. It, the R was going to be random, but I chose just to do Rudy because that's my last name. Alright, so what we're going to do first today for the uh, tech review is the Low Pro um, camera bag that I have right here. And then later on inside, we're going to be going into the camera. Then later on, we're going to be doing uh, just overall of the bag and the camera. Alright, so this is it right here. I'm not sure what it is for like the specific name but it's the low pro I got a feature shop about eighty dollars I got on sale for about forty um so yeah this is it Let's set this down a little bit right there all right so start her off um outside looks really nice nice and strong material uh feels good to touch um you'll notice right here the clips for the shoulder rest uh strap um, there's the top strap right here to hold, just going on the go easily. The zippers come right here that go all the way around down to here, both of them to here as well. Fold this open, then you see all the stuff. Um, at the bottom it has a nice hard, uh, hard rubber plasticky material that keeps it from ripping the m bottom material so it doesn't rip. Stuff can fall out. I really like that. This is something I also really like. It is a all-weather bag also, so it has right here sunshine, I'll get a little closer, um, sun, rain, or wind. You can just pull this out, and it's a nice material too, it's nice and super, not that thick, but pretty thick. Where it goes around, the whole entire bag. Oh, sorry, that's inside out. Goes from the bottom. Lift this up. Goes from the bottom up and over the front. You can tell it's inside out or if it's upside down. It's the logo right here, Low Pro. Um, this covers the whole thing. Straps hold come out right there. So if you're going in rain, uh, rain shooting or weather, just keep it warm. Back shows just to easily access the back and uh, yeah this bag is really good for starter for m me starting right now um, so yeah we'll just go inside open it up and to put it back put it under and fold it up and just store it in the pocket okay so just under the zippers right here First thing you're going to see for mine, uh, you can t fully customize it. You're going to see an SD card slot right here. Keep your SD in there, or SD cards, because there's two slots. Um, second thing you'll notice is in there, is I keep my battery ca uh, char re charger cable. Under that is the USB cable. Um, Alright, so that's in the part front part of the bag and then what I just kept for customization the manual I like to keep this with me so then I know how to do stuff if something goes wrong so let's put that back here then you can just kinda see right here where I put the manual it has a nice velcro um, really thick velcro padding where it keeps all your stuff stored and safe you can fold that this way or that way but uh, it's really nice padding then here on the sides it has velcro along here and here and along this whole entire wall, it has uh, Velcro. So what I do is right here, lift, lift this flap open, and you'll find the Canon Rebel EOS T4i. Fold out screen. Just put that on the other side. So, uh, yeah, really nice camera. I'll talk to you about that later. So I'll just put that over here. Alright, next is that if I take this off really easily but strong velcro 
kind of lift that, and the other side of the Velcro will stay on right here. And in between there, there's another divider uh, separates from the camera to the lens, and it also keeps the lens nice and safe. Move that over there. You have the lens, 18 by 55 millimeter lens. Not great, good for starting, but um, yeah, I'll talk to you a little about that later. So put that right here. And then what you'll notice is a pocket right here that I keep the strap that comes with <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, camera, which uh, Canon, oh, sorry, Canon, uh, I think it says EOS Digital on it, which is really nice, nice and strong, nice and durable. Talk to you about that later again. Um, how I customized it, oh yes, and also comes with a cloth, just to either store your stuff right here, or you can wipe it, all your lens or whatever off. That's just in where the strap was. Okay, a little bit more about the bag. Really nice, really durable, really strong. I love the padding. It's super thick, really uh, thick and strong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the Velcro is really nice. Keeps keeps steady, keeps holding all the stuff together and dividing it like it's supposed to be. Um, if you want to know what I did, um, all I did here was put one of them in the middle so then you can put the lens right here and the camera right here or other way around then what you do by putting this flap down you can put this one over attach the velcro really easily that'll be covered the camera or easy accessible hey Nora my dog just walked in and then right here um, this can either cover here I don't really care about that but it could also cover the cables really easily fold zipper up easy to go overall about the bag Really nice, really strong, really durable, really light. The padding on here is very cushiony for your shoulder. Doesn't hurt at all. I've been using it, not a lot, but enough to make sure that it's comfortable. Um, the SD card, I can just take out really easily. has a nice, vel strong Velcro. Let me show you that. There it is. Right there. And, uh, yeah, really nice. So, overall, great bag. Great storage for a starter kit. And, um... Yeah, I'll just go on to the camera now. Alright. So this is what I've been waiting for a long time. Um, I don't know if you guys want this. I know I've wanted this for a long time. And it's a great starter camera for me. Just to get all set up on all of the camera accessories. And um, different things it has that I can figure out what to do. Easier shots, better quality pictures, and all that stuff. Um, the 18 by 55 millimeter lens, it's good for starters. It comes with it. You don't have to buy it. Um, but this whole thing came together for 776 at Future Shop in Canada or on a, in Ontario. It just ended yesterday. I'm sorry if you did not get a chance to get it. Um, but you can still get the camera and the lens for about... Nine hundred fifty dollars. That's a lot of money, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, or you can wait for Boxing Day. Probably have a sale as well. Um, one thing I really like about this lens: autofocus is great. Not too loud, but it's really quiet. It improved a lot from the T three I um, stabilizer. Always keep that on. It's good and really nice, comfortable grip um, lens grip to move around. I can just keep my hands on there and move it around really easily. All right, uh, moving on. Just inside, not I, not a lot to tell about. It does have a plastic little ring right here. Next, I'm gonna buy is definitely gonna be metal, so it's just black plastic. All right, moving on to the body. Er, sorry. Uh, actually, I already talked about this, so I'll go on to the body. All right, T4i. Canon Rebel EOS says right there. Great, hundred percent yes on guaranteed buying. Great LCD touch screen. See a little reflection. Yeah, let's see that. Oh, come on. There we go. There it is. All right. Um, really nice screen, smooth to the touch. From um, just from the camera, just to touch it, kind of get the ISO, everything just better and faster instead of using the selector or the dial. Um, 
Let's start at the front. You have the um, cover for the mirrors or optical zoom or whatever it is. What you do, just tilt that to the right. Or go, well, if you're facing the, if you're facing this part, it's to the right or the left. If you're facing the screen, it's to the right. Take that off. Um, you look inside, metal, the lineup, red, white, really nice. Um, not going to take a picture right now. Battery isn't in, same with SD card. But, but just about right here, the flash button right here, pop out flash. Um, the lens pop out button, you don't need to press that when you take the cover off. You just slide it out to the right or left, whatever way you're facing. Shutter button. It's nice. It has the really soft feeling. Uh, focus all the way. is just push down. You can definitely feel it. And um, on top has all the new features for the dial. Has all the regular ones. Or two new ones right here. There's the auto. Uh, no flash. Customization. Portrait. Landscape. Forget what this one's called. I'll think of it later. And just all the new ones. But the new ones are right here night scene and background. I forget what these are called. I'll look at it later. But you can definitely find it in your manual. It'll show on page 24, I'm guessing. Or not guessing. I actually know that for a fact. Page 24. When you get this, look at that right away. Um, Comes out of the box just like this. Screens over. Really nice. No plastic or anything. Right here, you have the boom mic or flash attachability um, right there. Uh, the strap, and right here, the strap attachable, and the menu button, info, change screen, record. That's what I really like right here. Just easy to know. Right, right there. That's what you change screen for, right there. Some, some other cameras, you don't even know what it is right from the start. Record button, easy, you know, because it's a red dot. Um, I am going to be using this for other videos. I'm using my mom's Mac right now for the built-in camera. But, um, yeah, so that's just a quick overview about it. Battery goes in right here. Tripod mount. SD card goes in right here. Really nice. Um, and really nice grip. Just feels really nice in your hands. Just taking the pictures. All right, um, I guess we'll look at the... Just put them all together, show you overall. Take a few pictures, maybe, and then I'll show you a few of them. All right, so slide that off to the left. Really easy. What I really like, you can just put these together. Slide it clockwise. All right, so put it on. You might just, you might already know this. The white square. Line it up with the small, line up with the small white one on the ring. Yeah, there you go. And just go turn it towards the towards the lens release button. Um, got a nice lens cap, Canon. Take that off, and there you have it. T4i looks great. All right, so I'll put the battery in. I'll show you that really quickly, and then I'll take some photos, put it on the camera or on the video. Okay, here we go. So. Take this SD card in that slot, and it does come with a case if you get the SanDisk Extreme six gigabyte, sixteen gigabyte. Put that right there. So just you pop it out, lift it up, push it in. You're good. Battery. Put that right back in there. At the very bottom, just flip that up. Make sure to hear the click. Move the gray part over with it and push down until it goes over. Push that down. You'll see the red light. Oh, it just turned off. Turn it on. Red light flickers. Just turned off again. And I'll take the photos and I'll show you right now. All right, guys. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.